All right, now that I've been using the Pixel 6a for the last few days, I have tested the battery life of this amazing mid-range phone with this ever more refined stock Android from Google. Let's dive in and see the real life battery test results of the Google Pixel 6a. Let me first tell you that this phone packs a 4410 mAh battery on the slim form factor, which is great. I have tested the device in two different scenarios. This test was done in the external environment as if you are using this phone on day to day basis, which will include the standby time, network fluctuations, exposure in the outside environment. This will give you a real life battery test results, which would be more accurate than the tests done in a studio. Okay, now the first scenario is normal mode with always on display on, dark mode on, haptics feedback and vibrations off, adaptive battery was on and power saving mode was turned off. In this mode, the phone could easily last one and a half days almost. On the first day, I got four hours, six minutes of screen on time. As you can see the usage here, I have used Netflix for close to about two hours, YouTube for about an hour, Call of Duty was played for close to about 20 minutes, camera was used for close to nine minutes, phone call for a few minutes and rest of the applications. This was the first day usage and the entire night the phone was on standby. And on the next day, I have got about one hour, 35 minutes of screen on time which adds to 5 hour 41 minutes of screen on time in this mode. That's a very good screen on time for a battery of this size in a real life scenario. Because here the idle time will be too long. Considering this, close to about 6 hours of battery life is pretty good on this device. Now let's move on to the second scenario. In this scenario, I had uh, turned on the power saving mode, which obviously turns off the always on display. The haptics and vibrations were off. Adaptive battery was obviously turned on. In this mode, I have got about 4 hour 38 minutes of screen on time on the first day. As you can see the usage pattern here, many of the media applications were used. Call of Duty was played for 20 minutes and the rest of the applications including some camera usage as well. This is the screen on time in the first day and on the second day, the screen on time was 1 hour 51 minutes which adds to almost six hours of screen on time again. In the power saving mode, the screen on time was extended by about half an hour or so. Not much of a difference though, but we do have a better screen on time on power saving mode here. This means the phone can last more than one and a half day, which rocks a 4400 mAh battery. Of course, the 60 Hertz display definitely contributes to battery savings. And the processor here seems to be pretty efficient and well optimized on the stock Android to conserve the battery. So according to me, the battery performance is pretty good on this device. You let me know what do you think about it. Do share your thoughts in the comment section. And while I do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I will be posting loads of contents on stock Android features, tips and tricks, along with the Galaxy phones and One UI features. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel and smash the like button if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Sally. I'm signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.